Today we're talking all about products. I'm gonna lay out for you the gear that I think you need, whether you're a YouTube creator or a production professional, let's get right into it. My first recommendation for you is all about lighting. So I use like these really expensive light panel lights for my professional shoots, but I gotta tell you in the studio, we have another option. These are the newer bi-color LED lights. I love these lights. They come in a two pack with everything you need. So they come with the soft box and the stands. They're also bi-color, which means that you can change the color temperature using a dial from warmer to cooler. So if you're shooting with more natural light, you can match the color temperature, or if you're trying to achieve a more warm effect, you can do that too with these lights. The price on these lights is amazing. They're available on Amazon and we've bought this two pack, I think three or four times. We have a lot of these lights lying around and I gotta say they do a good job. Now, another light product I have to recommend is a reflector like this one. This is something that comes in so handy when you're shooting outdoors. I just broke out our reflector on a shoot just a few days ago when we were shooting outside and the way that we had the subject oriented, the light that was hitting their face was kind of off to one side. A reflector like this comes in so handy for filling in the other side of someone's face, but you can even use it with studio lighting inside as well. So you definitely wanna have one of these things and it's really fun to like pull them out of the case and pop them up and then twist them up and pop them back down. They're really, really handy and they don't take up a lot of space and they're not expensive. Definitely a must have. Another product that I have to recommend that I always talk about is my Sony stick mic. This thing is just amazing. And it's the kind of thing that you guys are always commenting on. What microphone do I use? This one is also available on Amazon. I'll link to it below. And it's great because it's unidirectional, meaning that it really just picks up the sound of my voice as it's hovering by my head right now as I'm talking to you. This is a great microphone. It has served me well for years. It's a great brand. We love Sony products. So this one is a must have for me too. And speaking of audio, I also have to recommend the online subscription music licensing site, Soundstripe. What I love about Soundstripe is that there are so many cuts of music on here and a lot of them are really great. And they actually have pre-sorted playlists for you that can really help you find the music cut you're looking for. But my favorite thing about Soundstripe is that you can download what are called stems. If there's a cut of music you find that you like, but there's something in there that doesn't really ring your bell, like a synthesizer or a vocal, you can actually download all of the instruments individually and then just use the parts of the song that appeal to you. This is amazing and I use this feature all the time. enjoying the sounds of Soundstripe, let me just remind you that if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you want more tips for upping your production game, that's what I'm here for. So smash that subscribe button. Another audio product I have to recommend is my Beats headphones. I love these headphones because they're super comfortable to wear if I'm wearing them all day on a shoot. I actually prefer the wired version over the wireless version and let me tell you why. I'm always worried about like interference when I'm on a professional shoot and I wanna make sure I'm really just hearing exactly what's coming into the camera. So I do love the wired version of the Beats headphones. I'm gonna link to those below. Now let's talk about software. Software is such an important part about creating videos, isn't it? And you know that I have to mention my all time two favorite softwares, Final Cut Pro and Apple Motion. If you've spent any time on my channel, you hear me talk about these guys all the time. Final Cut is a professional video editing software. It does everything you need it to do. And Apple Motion is a motion graphic software that is amazing. And let me tell you what I love most about these two softwares besides the fact that I think they're really like intuitive and easy to use is that they come at a one-time cost as opposed to that other brand that charges you every month. I paid $300 for Final Cut Pro ages ago. And over the years through my business, I have made literally, I'm not kidding, easily over a million dollars with that 
$300 purchase that I made on Final Cut. I don't have an affiliate link for this. I'm just telling you the truth about what I like. I don't have a relationship with Apple. I wish I did. Apple, if you want to sponsor me, let's do it. But I'm just telling you the truth. I love these two softwares. The updates are all included. They don't nickel and dime you. Apple Motion is $50 and it does so much. I have so many tutorials here on my channel. I will link to a whole bunch of them here or here somewhere, I can't remember. And also I am working on a paid motion course, which is something a lot of you guys have asked for. So just know that's in the works. If you're interested in that, go to my website, jenjager.com and sign up and I will let you know when it is happening. And I think we're gonna be doing pre-launch pricing. So you'll get a deal on that as well. All right, moving on. Let's talk about software in your phone. Let's talk about apps. There's a couple of apps that I have reviewed on my channel that I think stand the test of time. The first one is Video Leap. I think it's a great just general editor for your videos, but it also has a lot of really cool effects that I like a lot. The other one is Vaunt, which is a great app for adding text to your videos. So I definitely recommend those. I have full tutorials and reviews on those. I will put those in the description box below. Another app I recommend is this one here called Pro Movie that I talked about in my iPhone videography tutorial, which you should definitely check out. If you haven't seen this video, I will link to it below. But what this app does is it gives your iPhone camera so many more customizable settings, like a shutter speed or color temperature. It takes the standard iPhone camera and turns it into more of like a real professional video camera. I definitely recommend it. Now let's talk about storage. Storage is the bane of my existence. Is it the bane of your existence as well? We've actually been moving a lot of our archived projects from hard drives to the Glacier on Amazon, which is a cloud storage uh, solution, but you still need hard drives and we have a lot of them around the office. I gotta recommend this list C hard drive. I've been buying these up a ton and every time I go to buy one, there's more storage for less money. It's kind of amazing. Right now you can get 10 terabytes on Amazon for I think around $300, which is crazy. So I recommend these hard drives. They're super reliable. I've literally never had a problem with these hard drives and I'm super into them and I can recommend them to you. And my last recommendation for you is definitely a big ticket item, but it's a newer toy around these parts and we are very excited about it. It's the DJI Mavic 2 Zoom. This thing is amazing. The picture on it is great. You can also set a point mark and have the drone fly around it so your moves are super smooth. It has a time-lapse feature. It's just an awesome, awesome product. The controller for this thing is sick. So if you're in the market for a drone and you're, you know, you're on a bigger budget, I can recommend this product. Hands down, I love it. I'm sure you're wondering, Jen, what can you recommend for a camera? I gotta be honest with you, because I own a professional production company, we actually have higher end cameras than I think most YouTubers really need. I'm shooting this right now on a Sony FS5. Our other primary camera is a Sony FS7. They're a little more high end than I think you need. So I'm hesitant to make a camera recommendation to you guys. Um, because what I would recommend probably isn't something you're looking to spend. And there are a lot of other creators that can give you really good advice about that. And so I hate to steer you in the wrong direction, but otherwise those are my recommendations for products that I think you could use. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you again next time.